Mm, sorry, my name is Paul and you're from Greece. You're working for the channel, a TV channel. Mega, Mega TV. Mega TV. Yes. And what you observe, you've been in, in Ukraine, you just came to Ukraine uh, to capture some videos. Uh, you say that in Greece, electricity is... It's also rising, yeah. It's also rising, it's the same thing. The price of the, of the energy is going up. There's, all, there's a, a, a total coordinated thing that uh, happens in the whole of the Europe, or Occidental uh, or Western. It's the same thing. And what's the percentage uh, by like 30%, 20% increase of the electricity? 135%. 135? Yes. In comparison to last year? To last year. Okay. That's a, that's that's enormous. crazy. Yes, enormous, yes. Yeah. And uh, what people do in Greece about it? DJ try to protest? Uh, They're trying to organize themselves uh, just like uh, they do all over the all over the Europe, but uh, the governmental uh, tactics, if you want to, <coughs> are to destabilize uh, that kind of things uh, by pro uh, provoking other things they, they, they are promoting not provoking promoting mm -hmm. uh, they, they are going to fill up the gap uh, by the governmental fees they are going to pay uh, for lower costs they are going to uh, to give some supplements things like that but that's, that's, that, that doesn't solve the, solve the problem uh, in the long term you are going to pay less for two or three months but the problem still there. What about the um, actual petrol, uh, diesel increase on the petrol, yeah. does it increase as well? Yeah, 30 or 35 percent uh, com compared to the last year. And did the government explain why is increasing diesel and no. petrol? Any no. explanation? No. Have, have, I, have they given an explanation for the, for the increase here? No. It's all, all over the world it's the same thing. They won't explain that. They are the, there is a crisis for us, for us, for, for us in the western place of Europe, in Greece, for example, there is a crisis that concerns uh, Russia and uh, Europe, Russia and Ukraine, and that's why, etc. But uh, it's a thing uh, that's universal. It's universal. Have you seen the prices of gas and uh, petrol in the United States? Why are they rising up? It's a very good question. Uh, hard to answer. You don't give any explanation, even in Europe. Like, I think. don't have one. Me too. And what about the products? Uh, these products prices is increased. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. Due to the the, the, the explanation is, is simple. Due to the to the, uh, the the augmentation of the prices of the petroleum or uh, the raw petrol, etc. Uh, the procedures have all, all already already increased to. 14% to the basic to the basic food uh, in supermarkets. Yeah. So because the food need to be delivered by truck drivers uh, to and the planes, supermarkets. So it's, yeah. It's it's added to the cost of the final product. Yeah, of course. And that, now they're yeah. searching for a way in Greece uh, not to pass that increase to uh, to the price so to the customer, you see? They're trying to convince uh, the mega markets to retain the prices themselves and the government is going to give uh, an amount of money in order to cover that thing. But that's not a, a, a stable solution. You're going to live for two months with low, lower prices and three months uh, later. Do you think homelessness is increased in Greece with the increase of prices like and uh, social problems, uh, increased prices of diesel and petrol and products prices? Do you think there is a economic crisis, people more homeless uh, on the street living? In Greece we don't have a huge problem with homelessness, but it's true that we have uh, more helpless, not homeless people. Uh, what about suicide? Below. Is the suicide no, no. rate increase? No, no, it's, it's really low, but uh, I don't know how to explain that, but yeah. the situation, it's uh, one of the worst all over Europe, in Greece. Uh, we have extremely high rates of unemployment, for example, in the uh, young people. They're extreme, extremely high. If you see the, the researches concerning Europe, it's the highest percentage of uh, youth unemployment all over the uh, Union of 27. Uh, we have other major problems. One of them is uh, the unemployment. Yeah. What do you think? What we can do to fight against uh, peacefully fight uh, with no violence? How to can find this economical situation in in Europe? You have like, to make your own government and all, all all the governments around the world to believe and really really understand that uh, their plans for uh, general wars against people and against nations is not a solution. It w never was and it will never be. We have nothing to to divide between us, if you want to. Mm -hmm. uh, we have on, only common needs. 
we are people, you know? Yeah. Uh, what about COVID situation? Did as much discrimination happen in Greece if person not vaccinated? Uh, not really. Uh, you're not allowed to work? No, Do no, you have really. this? We have, we have obligations, but uh, uh, the major part of, uh, of people in Greece, of uh, Greeks, uh, uh, understood that there, is, there was a necessity because of the uh, really bad situation of our health system that was a big necessity to get vaccinated. So uh, there are, of course, uh, non-vaxxers uh, that believe that it's a problem. The vaccine and the control, a control measure, but a control me a measurement. It's, it's okay now. There is a belief that uh, this vaccination is not about uh, disease; it's about surveillance. Like in China, they try to create surveillance, create a system that is will rank bad and good citizen. If you're drinking alcohol, you'll be considered bad citizen, or you don't pay fines, you'll be considered bad citizen. They try to make digital surveillance. Do you think that's what's going to happen with this COVID pass? Not really. If you ask me, no. No. No, I don't believe that. But what do you think if two two COVID vaccination doesn't work? Hmm. Uh, why is he want to force people to use Tord and Ford? Like, uh, like I don't know why, but uh, I cannot I cannot underestimate science. You know, I cannot underestimate science. If you're asking me if uh, the vaccine works, I'll tell you I'm triple triple vaccinated and uh, I I got COVID. So I yeah. had every every reason to to believe that uh, it doesn't work. But at the end of time, I have two two little kids. And um, I believe that I protected them um, because I didn't go to the hospital uh, and uh, I didn't get severe, uh, severe uh, symptoms. But, but basically now with this logic that the government tried to apply, we're supposed to be vaccinated every nine months. Is it six or six months? Well, I don't know. You know what? what? I will not accept to, be, to get vaccinated every uh, two and three months. I will not accept it as a, as a citizen. But once a year, I believe that... Uh, if if we have if we have data enough data to prove that, why not? Um, another question in relation about people working in the hospital in Greece. Mm -hmm. If you not vaccinate as a doctor or nurse, will you be able to provide service to the public? No. So you're not. You, you're not. But uh, only two percent, I think, uh, two or three percent of the medical staff uh, didn't accept to get vaccinated in Greece. And you're not able to travel if you're not vaccinated. So you're you are able to travel. It, it doesn't depend from the Greek uh, government. It yeah. cannot ban you from traveling, but uh, it depends from the country of uh, where you go to, you know. It, it, it depends on the country you choose to, to travel to. But um, in Greece, you have you, uh, constitution rights, you have right to earn money for your family and yourself. And like you, as you said, that if you're working as a doctor or a nurse and you're not vaccinated, you're not able to work anymore yeah. uh, so basically you you're not able to gain money for your family yeah so what is gonna happen like a really good question i don't have the answer <laughs> a really good one but yeah i cannot answer that do you think it's a discrimination in, in relation about uh, right to earn money i think discrimination is a harsh word but it's a it's a start of something different if you want my opinion okay Thank thanks you. a million brother